Good morning everyone. So, it's just gone 6.30 in the morning and I'm here at the lovely Egerisee. So yeah, what's the plan today? Well, I'm by a lake. I've got the pack raft with me, so doing a little bit of pack rafting and then yeah, going to continue hiking the Alpen Panorama back afterwards. So yeah, sort of a two-in-one adventure today. So um, yeah, that's the plan. It is a lovely sunny day. Super happy to be out. Let's get to let's get the boat rigged. Let's get to it. Okay, so the raft is rigged. It's just been sitting here for a few minutes just doing tempering. So, yeah, just gonna quickly check the, um, the pressure and then, yeah, I should be ready to set off in the next couple of minutes or so. Just gonna enjoy some nice relaxing day out in the water. So, yeah. Should be fun. Just gone quarter past seven, so rigging the boat a little bit more time than I would like, but the good news is. This is a relatively small lake, so the only boats I need to be careful of are small fishing boats and the occasional lake cruiser. From what I can tell when I was here doing the last dip of the Alpen Panorama back, it is only one, so as long as I keep an eye out for that, it should be a okay. So, yeah, smooth conditions, can't really ask for anything else. So. For a fun little adventurous day out. Well, conditions absolutely all time today. There's barely a wave, really smooth going. Um, Seen a couple of fishing boats so far. Haven't seen the lake cruiser yet, but got my sort of head sonar looking around. Um, yeah, quite a few swimmers. Um, one person on a racing boat, uh, just a, yeah, racing rowboat, and one stand-up paddleboarder, which is yeah, very nice. But given that it is a Sunday, it's early days still. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We've got a couple more people coming out actually, so be careful. Okay, so, to my left, I actually have eyes on a small lake cruiser. It's, um, I would say, roughly the same size as the one, the river cruise in Bath, which um, went from, um, Pulteney Weir up to Hampton Weir and then back down which is 
one of my favourite stretches of water to paddle. Very relaxing and it was quiet, so yeah. Just over there is the lake cruiser, so yeah, relatively small. Quick view behind me as well. So yeah. view of yonder. Alrighty, so paddling's going well. I'm reckoning we're around about a quarter of the way around a lake. So, yeah. This rafting trip is definitely a little bit shorter than I thought it was going to be, which is nice because this is only my third time, third time taking this specific boat out. So, yeah. Nice to still, still get a feel for it. I still want to do rivers though. That is still on my to-do list, but... With the amount of rain that we've had this summer on. We'll see, we'll see. I was just following uh, a duck, I think it was a coop, possibly a grebe. But um, because of the glimmer or the glare on the water, I didn't quite see it. So I wasn't exactly sure what it was. But yeah, you know, nothing like being in a tiny inflatable boat. Over, I think, the depth of this lake, I think it's 60, is it 90? I'm not sure, it's quite deep. Not the deepest one I've paddled, but definitely deep. And, um, yeah, just don't really know what's under you, so. That's a big one, big jet, can't tell which company, but definitely either flying out or flying into Zurich. So, progress is going quite well. Almost, I reckon I'm maybe 10 minutes from hitting the southern end of the lake. Give or take. Then it's going to be turn around, cross the lake, turn around, head south. Yeah. Also, I'll make sure to put the photo up, but um, quickly spent five minutes with the notebook just planning out some of the finer details on my international trip this year as I'm pretty sure I noted last time I was out on the raft when I was doing um, Link Canal I had to, I've unfortunately had to cancel one of my holidays this year already due to the weather
Oh, well, there's a big horn. Oh, look at Lake cruises about. Uh, where would be? There's the nearest, the nearest uh, thing. Where is it? Okay, so it's behind me. Uh, where is it approaching from? Um, right. So the good news is there's only one of these on the lake. Tracking it is relatively easy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up to shore here again and just wait for it to pass because I'd rather it be in front of me than me be behind. I'd rather be behind it and have it in front of me than have it behind me and me not seeing it. So, waterway rules are that the smaller, more maneuverable craft don't have the right of way. The bigger the boat, the more tonnage that you have floating, uh, the higher priority that you are. So, yeah. And me plus small inflatable pack raft versus a good few tons of steel and propellers. Anyways, I'm not too sure what is going to go on with the late cruiser here, so we'll wait and see what happens and I'll update you momentarily. Okay, so there is the lake cruiser. So, yeah. It's been around about seven minutes, give or take. I've been waiting for it, so... Uh, yeah, once he passes by, then... Um, yeah, no, that's good. As soon as they pass by, then uh, that's all problems solved. Uh, it should be a little bit of a fun wake, so uh, yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so they'll probably swing around that way towards the mountains. On the other side of the lake and then bounce. Yeah. Okie dokie. Cool. Sorted. Uh, I'm not going to stray too far to that end of the lake just because it is a nature reserve and I do not want to go beyond the buoys, so yeah. Well, there was one kind of boat I was not expecting to encounter. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, right. I was not counting on speedboats. I thought this lake was mostly going to be small, low-powered fishing boats, but no, there are a very couple, there are a few very, very high-powered uh, speedboats around, so should make some fun wakes, but at the same time, I'm a little bit nervous, and I hope that they see me. One of the reasons why I chose this pack graph in bright red rather than the caribou in green. Because in hindsight, that was a little bit of a questionable choice on my end, but hey ho! Yeah, one thing I will say is I've to. I still need to try and figure out the best way of sitting in this raft because sometimes my lower back ends up in absolute agony. So, yeah, that's why I'm in a little bit more of a relaxed position. Just try and ease some of that off my back because I still have potentially. Well, not potentially, but definitely 13 kilometers of hiking after this because I am doing a top bear nine of the Alpen Panorama bag. So, yeah, I mean, it's only 13 kilometers. I might not be able to get that much filming done, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I do have another plan for tomorrow. And that is to pack raft somewhere. I did a bit of a recce earlier in the year. 
that will be a video for two weeks time if you can figure out where that is then uh, leave a comment in the description in confidence building now and that is paddling over open water very very far away from land so yeah I am committed to do this as I do have a life jacket and so on so yeah because I mean I know for a fact I'm probably probably gonna be at least 150 meters from shore so I mean, not only it's going to take too long, probably 10 minutes or so, give or take, so, yeah. Have a life jacket, so, yeah. Let's go. Try not to think about whatever's underneath. wind has picked up a little bit, so there's a nice little headwind cooling me down a little bit. I'm fighting a few waves, which is nice. There's the cruiser. I was wondering where that disappeared off to today. Yeah, looks like I'm approaching those buoys now. Yeah, I've got a little bit. Yeah, just a little click to go before I hit the buoys. Closer. Right. This is one of those moments where I might have bitten off more than I can chew. There's water. Those buoys don't seem to be getting any closer to designate the start of the swimming zone. However, my distance to the land is increasing. Half of me is thinking to turn around, but no, I just waste more calories. So, we push on. I'm just happy there's not too much of a headwind. I don't think it's stop, I think. So, yeah. Just need to avoid this fisherman off my right hand side here. Because as I can see, that he's got, um, he's doing. Uh, Troll fishing, so what he's got is, his two, is he's got two smaller boats, so he's got his boat here, and then he's got two smaller floats on the outside there in a little triangle formation. Those little um, smaller boats are known as dogs. What they do is they carry a line from the mothership to the dog, and on the line, uh, different types of hook and bait. And from what I remember from when I did the, the Swiss fishing test, is I think he's predominantly going to be going after um, lake trout. Yeah. So yeah, because I think there's an event in Lake Zurich in the winter that is the opening start of the fishing season. And from what the instructors told me, it were it's crazy. It's really an event to go see. So um, I think I was in the military when that happened in January of this year. So. 
next year, I'm going to try and make it. Let's go and have a look and see. Yeah. Alrighty, so that over there is the big stretch of open water that I crossed. There are the boys indicating the nature reserve and swimming zone. So yeah, not too long to go now. I reckon I should be finished right on midday as planned. So yeah, my plan then is to quickly get the boat out of the water, get my rucksack rigged for hiking and um, yeah, if I'm up for it, maybe go for, for a short swim. I mean, I've got a towel for the boat, that doubles for me, so yeah, I might do that. Yeah, we'll go swim, but it depends how busy it is, so yeah, we'll see. Alrighty, so, I have found one of the pack rafts today, and I just met them. So, they could see. Very nice two-person model. Um, might be another packer, but I can't tell. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not quick to see another packer after, but it's cool to know that. Uh, yeah, cool to know. So, I'm done with the pack rafting. Yeah, there's quite a few more people around uh, where I entered, so I'm not going to film, but uh, yeah, it's done. Get the boat rigged and let's get hiking. <laughs> 